வெல்கம் டு த வீடியோ செஷன் ப்ராக்டிக்கல் நம்பர் ஒன் ஸோ இந்த ப்ராக்டிக்கல் நம்பர் ஒன் ஸோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த ஃபைல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபோல்டர் அண்ட் ஃபைல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபோல்டர் கிரியேஷன் ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வில் கோ த்ரூ த ப்ராக்டிக்கல் ஸ்ட்ரீட் ஸோ தென் ஐ வில் கிவ் த இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஹவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டூ த டாஸ்க் கிவன் இன் த ப்ராக்டிக்கல் ஸ்ட்ரீட் ஸோ நார்மலி ஸோ தி ஆஸ்கிங் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கிரியேட் த ஃபாலோயிங் ஃபோல்டர் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஒன் டூ நெட்ஒர்க் டிரைவ் so normally we have the server so inside the server we have the network drive so in the drive we are going to create this folder structure but here in the local machine i am going to create this folder structure so the main major folder name is com sys so under that folder there are three folder we want to create hardware and software and liveware so inside the com sys folder so we want to create the hardware software and the liveware folder so inside the hardware folder so first we want to create the input folder then output folder storage folder these three folder we want to create inside the hardware folder so then second question so they are asking search the text file in your computer which are modified within the past month and copy it of them to output folder so what we want to do so we want to search the computer so text files so the which text file is modified within the past three months the particular text file uh, we want to copy and we want to paste it in the output folder third question create the text file in the liveware folder as a personal dot txt including following index number name nic including these details we want to create the personal.txt file inside the liveware folder then the fourth question copy the personal file to storage folder and rename the personal file as a my file my personal so we want to copy that personal file to the storage folder again what we want to do we want to rename it this personal file text file as a my personal so so this is the first part of the question so first we'll complete the first part then we will move to the second part okay so initially what i am going to do i am going to create some folder so with the name of for example i will create the folder with the name of network okay so then they are after inside this network folder so what i am going to create i am going to create com sys folder so as per the practical sheet instruction so what we want to create so we want to create the com sys folder first okay then we'll create right click new folder so you first you want to what you want to do right click then go to new then folder so then click on the folder then you can give the name of that folder com dash sys sys then enter key so then what do you want to do you want to open this folder how you can open there are two ways you can open this folder right click open this is one one way another one way just double click on your mouse not right click the left click you want to click the double click on your left click of the mouse then another way you can press the enter key to open just just select that particular folder you can enter the for enter use the enter key you can open one way right click open and left double times you can click left then you can open that particular folder so inside this folder what you want to do you want to create the three folder the folder names are hardware software and liveware so i am going to create one by one right click new folder hardware then enter right click in new folder the folder name is software
then the final one right click new folder the folder name is live VR. okay so uh, the second step these folders are created so then what i want to do i want to create the following these folder inside the hardware folder so i am going to open that hardware folder new folder the folder name is input new folder the folder name is output new folder that folder name is storage okay so this step also finished so then second question search the text file in your computer which are modified within a past month and copy it of them into the output folder where i want to copy it first i want to search and i want to copy to the output folder okay we'll see how we can search just i am going to minimize this okay then thereafter i am going to open my my computer so inside in the my computer search box what i am going to type star dot txt the star mean everything dot dot txt mean txt is the file format the particular text file you, you want to if you want to give capital you can give capital or symbol you can give it in the symbol okay so now once i click that star dot txt whatever the txt files i have in my that particular the everywhere in the computer so all the files are displaying here so here what i want to do i want to here modify dates are available i want to get the modified date within the three months of the last last so here you can see the zoom meeting chats are saved here so just i am going to copy so the class one zoom meeting chats are here saved so the particular the, that uh, text file i am going to copy how i can copy this one two ways you can copy it the shortcut key control plus c copy so just you want to press the control key and the c key of your keyboard so that will that also you can copy another way right click here copy okay now it's copied so where i want to paste it we'll check inside the output folder output folder where is that inside the comms is hardware then output so i will open that hardware output so now i have pasted so the particular copy file here i have pasted okay so then we'll move to the next question question number three so create the text file in the live VR folder as a personal dot txe including following so i am where i want to go it so now i want to go back so go back see as you can see the back up key is there just click so then just click just you want to open the live VR folder so inside the live VR folder what you want to do you want to create the text file so simply you can create the text file new text document just click then what i want to do do you want to name it as a personal personal so you no need to give dot txt automatically they will get the extension of the file the particular uh, txt format okay so here what do you want to do you want to include they have given some data to include that particular file just double click and open the txt file so inside the txt file what do you want to do you want to have the details of index number then number zero zero fdt 
0 0 then name enter Okay, finally, what you want to do is file save. So, or else you can use a shortcut key, control S. Just click save. Now it's saved inside the liveware folder. Once you open, you can get the data here. Okay, so then we'll move to the next question. Fourth one copy the personal file into storage folder and rename it that personal file as a my personal okay so you want to copy i already told you right click copy then go back where i want to paste it storage inside the hardware storage Okay, so then what I want to do it again, I want to rename it. Right click, rename. Just click the cursor point here. Then type my, my personal. Now enter. So you have changed that as a my personal. Okay, so then we'll see the next question. Okay, so the second, the fourth question, uh, that's also finished, the second part. So first part is completed, the next part. So create the following folder structure on your network drive. So vehicle, four wheeler, three wheeler, two wheeler. So as similar, what I did in earlier, say like same way, I want to create this particular for folder structure. So inside the network drive, so now you can see the network drive. So inside the network drive, what I want to create, new folder, the folder name is vehicle. Okay, inside the vehicle, what I want to create, I want to create three folder. The folder name is four wheeler, four wheels then enter new folder three wheels then enter new folder two wheels Okay, so the three folders are created inside the vehicle folder. So inside the four wheels, what I want to create as per the structure of the folder, car, lorry, van, the particular folders I want to create inside the four wheel. So just we'll move to four wheel, new folder. The folder name is car. Enter, then new folder. Folder name is Lori. The new folder. Folder name is Van. Okay, I will go back. Then inside the two wheel folder, I want to create the one folder. Particular folder name is Bicycle.
okay so i have created okay we'll check the questions the following coming questions so the first question create the text file as exam.exe on the vehicle folder including following so your name index number your training center number so including these number these details you want to create the exam text file we are going to inside the vehicle folder okay we'll see so inside the vehicle folder i want to create another text file the text file name is exam so the exam file what are the details i want to have it name index number and training center name Then once you finished, what I want to do, I want to save it. File, save, then close. So inside the vehicle folder, we have that particular text file. Then the last, we'll see what I want to do. Apply the hidden attribute to the vehicle folder. So normally you can hide the folder. So then uh, you want to apply the hidden attribute to the van folder. So inside the van where we have created, for wheel the particular van folder you want to hide how you can hide it so two ways you can hide so <clears throat> just put a click on hidden item this is one way then otherwise right click then go to the property of the particular folder just put a tick on hidden here also you can put a tick hidden or maybe you can put the hidden here just okay now you can see the folder is hide it here okay so that's mean it's not visible so like this way you can complete the practical so number one so practical number one including very basic files and folder related activities